Begin our top stories this morning in South Africa, where the president, Sir Ramaphosa, has, was met with what can be described as a frosty reception yesterday, Sunday, at the African National Congress KwaZulu Natal Elective Conference. Ramaphosa arrived to officially close the provincial conference on Sunday evening, although it was initially rumored that he may not pitch uh, due to other commitments. Uh, and of course, uh, he eventually was met with booze as he arrived at the party's conference. As he took to the podium, delegates broke into a song singing the Wenzeni Uzuma, which translates to what has Zuma done? The KwaZulu Natal province is a stronghold of former President Jacob Zuma, and security was beefed up ahead of Ramaphosa's arrival on Sunday after detractors threatened to make the province a no gun zone for Ramaphosa. Let's uh, take a look at the video of what happened. It only took uh, an intervention by the newly elected KwaZulu Natal chairperson, Siboni Suduma, who called on booing delegates to remain disciplined, allowing for Ramaphosa to eventually deliver his speech. Uh, very interesting, actually, and um, you know, I'm not sure you know, if that is simply because that is mostly a stronghold of uh, former President Jacob Zuma, or you know, there's you know, challenges with Ramaphosa's presidency. All right, now it's important to mention that uh, KwaZulu Natal is the ANC's largest province, which continues to show some resistance against Ramaphosa since his rise to power in 2017. And certain factions in KwaZulu Natal have certainly not forgiven or forgotten those who played a role in Zuma's spell behind bars and Cyril Ramaphosa stands accused of orchestrating the whole affair. Yeah, you know, so so it's either you know just their anger with him concerning you know their you know, beloved former president Jacob Zuma. Or, you know, it's just really, you know, an indication of what the, the nation generally thinks about his rule as president. So it, it's, um, but of course, you know, I, I'm, I'm always excited to see people being able to express themselves, you know, to power, you know, and speaking their, their feelings and their thoughts uh, to people in positions of power. You may never get to see that in any other country, um, in, in a lot of countries across Africa, not in Uganda, not in Rwanda. How dare you? Not in Nigeria. But you know, the, the thing is, when it comes to naming and shaming, do these people really care? Do the leaders who are at the helm of affairs care really about being booed? Does it, does it change anything well, for them? Well, it, it, it wouldn't, you know, but it's, it's still, it still sends a message. You know, it sends a very strong message because, you know, these people a lot of times are surrounded by yes men mm. who tell them the very best things about, you know, governance. And it, it may all be false until they get to see something like this. Mm.